Take Apart the iPod Touch by MacRecycling.com The following tools are required. A small Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic pick or Apple plastic tool, a black stick, a very small flathead screwdriver to begin and properly insert the plastic wrist strap pick in the seam between the front and back cover, like gradually discharge. working your way completely around the iPod. You will find it helpful to have several of these picks to keep the case from closing as you work. Opening the case may take a few minutes, but avoid using any metal tool as this will damage the iPod. The back cover is held in place by the clips shown here. Gently pull the back cover away from the iPod. Notice the six screws along the right side securing the display. There are two more screws on each side hidden beneath this board. Later, we will remove this screw and this rubber-like pad. This connector is attached to a fragile ribbon cable under the battery, and these two screws secure the board at the top. Remove the two screws at the top and the six screws on each side as shown here. The screws removed from the top are shown here. Remember each screw's location as it is removed as one screw is longer than the other. This is a close-up of the connector at the top right. This spring to the right of the connector is fragile. When removing the connector, care should be taken not to damage them. Using a plastic pick, gently lift the connector from the board like so. This is a close-up of the connector on the board. This connector is located near the bottom left of the iPod and is attached to the fragile ribbon cable underneath the battery. To remove the connector, use a plastic pick or a black stick to gently lift the connector up from the board. The two connectors just removed are shown here. The part to the left is from another iPod and is shown here to illustrate the glue points you'll need to loosen to pry the battery away from the display. Note how the ribbon cable is routed and take care when using the pick to pry up the battery later. The pick can only be used near the top of the iPod because the pick can tear the ribbon cable as shown here. This is a shot of the first iPod showing the position of the ribbon cables under the battery. Note the position of the glue points. Notice that the closer you get to the bottom of the iPod, the closer the ribbon cable gets to the edge. If you run the plastic pick all the way down the left side, you will almost certainly damage the ribbon cable. The right side is a bit safer, but again, take care as you approach the bottom. With the plastic pick between the battery and display, gently and carefully Work the pick around the iPod to loosen the glue points as shown. Once the glue is loosened up a bit on this side, a black stick can come in handy to gently pry up the battery like so. Move the battery back like this and note the ribbon cable is undamaged. 